Hello everybody and welcome to Vector Twist, the place where you can learn all about Adobe Illustrator. I'm Simona and I'm here to show you that it is easier than you think. So in this video tutorial I would like to show you how you can create your own little bunny icon. This is a beginner's tutorial and it's not complicated at all. So let's start. Here I've already finished the bunny icon for us. Now I want to show you how you can create this from scratch. So first we're going to hide the layer and on a new layer Let's create the bunny icon. We need a circle. So we're going to choose the ellipse tool and then I click once on the artboard and I get a pop-up. In the pop-up, I'm going to set the values of 350 points. As you can see, I have the height and width linked so they're constrained. Then I click OK. Here we have the circle. Of course, we don't want the stroke, so I click on it and I set it to none. And then the fill, I would like to change into a yellow. I've already set up my colors, so I'm just going to pick a yellow here. Then I would like to reset the fill and the stroke simply by pressing D on the keyboard. This will give us the default white fill and black stroke. Now let's create the shapes for the bunny. First we need the head. So I'll select the ellipse tool again. I press once on the artboard. In the pop-up, I'm going to set it to 82 points. Again it is constrained, so I'll get a perfect circle. Then I would like to choose the rectangle tool. So I'll switch to the rectangle tool, shortcut for this is M. Press once on the artboard and for the width, I'm going to set it to 100 and the height I'm going to set to 115. Now this will be the body. After that, we need another rectangle. I repeat the steps and I'm going to set 30 for the width and 95 for the height. This will be the ear. And this is it. These are the main shapes we need for our bunny icon. Now let's start transforming them. First, we're going to transform the body. I'm going to use the direct selection tool or white arrow tool. I'll select the top anchor points. I'll select one, I press the shift key, and then I'll select the other. These circles are live corners. So I can add corners just to the top here. So I'm going to pull them in. Then I'm going to select the bottom anchor point, and I'm going to move it inwards. If I press the shift key and the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'll move it in by 10 points. So I'm going to repeat this to the other one too. I'll select it and move it inwards. So this is the shape for the body of the bunny. Then I'll select the rectangle that will be the ear. Repeat the step, I'll just select the two top anchor points, grab the live corner circles, select the bottom anchor point, and move it in about three points. And I'll repeat this step on the other side. Then with the selection tool, I'll select it, I'll press E on the keyboard, which gives me the free transform tool, and then I'm going to rotate it a little bit. After that, with it selected, I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Here I'm going to reflect it vertically. I have the preview on, so this is the original, this is what it will look like reflected, and then I press Copy. After that, I'll move it to the side, put them into position, select both, and then I'm going to group them. Now I'm going to select everything. So all I have to do is draw a rectangle around all of my shapes, and press the Align tool here. Now what we want to do, we actually want to cut off the ear. There's an easy way to do this. So we're going to set the fill to none. Then we're going to select the pen tool and we're going to create a diagonal line. Then with the line selected, we'll select the ear as well. And then I'm going to use the pathfinder tool and I'm going to choose divide. Now I've divided the shape. Now with the direct selection tool, I'll select it. I press E on the keyboard for the free transform tool and I rotate it. Then I move it into place. So it sticks out. I'll go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front, and let me zoom in. We just have to tweak it a little bit. We'll use the Direct Selection tool. We'll grab this anchor point only, and then I move it up, and I'll straighten things out here. We might have to actually move this point into position as well. And this is it. Now we can morph everything together. But first, we actually have to ungroup the ears. So we'll go to Object, Ungroup. After that, we're going to select this ear, the bottom part, the head, and the body. And in the Pathfinder tool, we're going to select Unite. And here's our shape for our bunny. We're almost done. Just a few more steps to do. We need to create some feet, so we can use the Rectangle tool. I'll create a rectangle. I'll select the top anchor points, and I pull in the corners. Then I create a copy and then move it over, move them into place, and then we need some eyes and a nose. But first, let's select all of the shapes and let's set the stroke to three points. 
I think it looks better when the stroke is much stronger. And then we're going to create the eyes. We actually want to switch the fill with the stroke and then set the stroke to none. So now we have a black fill. We'll choose the ellipse tool. We create one eye, then I'm creating a copy, then change the color into a pink, select the ellipse tool again, and create a little nose. And here we go. Here's our bunny icon. We just have one more last step to do, and that is to create a flat drop shadow. So I'm going to choose a darker yellow, then I'm going to choose the pen tool, and I click on the first ear here, and I press the shift key, which gives me a 45 degree line. Then I'm creating another line on the bottom here of the bunny, and then I'm connecting all of those corners, just with the pen tool. Now I have a shape. All we have to do now is create a copy of the circle. So we're going to select it, go to edit, copy, and then paste in front. Then we're going back to object, arrange, and select bring to front. Now it's on top of our shadow shape. And now we can use it as a clipping mask. Now we select the circle, which will be our clipping mask, and the shape for the shadow. Then we're going back to object, clipping mask, make. Now we just have to set it to the back. So we go to object, arrange, send to back. Now it's of course behind our original circle. So we'll select the circle, go back to object, and arrange it to the back. And here it is. Our bunny icon is finished, and we created it really with some simple steps. It wasn't complicated, but I think it was a lot of fun. And here I would like to show you some more icons I have created in Adobe Illustrator. I've created some tulips, I've created a chick, a chick sitting in an eggshell, a chick with an eggshell on top of the head, some baskets with eggs, some regular Easter eggs, and I've chose really fun, vibrant colors. After I finished the icon designs in Adobe Illustrator, I printed them out on stickers. And here they are. They're really these fun little stickers. So this is what you can do with Adobe Illustrator. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Now I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And please subscribe to my channel here on Vector Twist, And also go over to VectorTwist.com to check out the website for more stuff.